Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out G Idol's Allergy. So excited to be checking this out. I did check out all the members' individual trailers. I didn't react to those, but I really like what they're doing with this. I'm really, really intrigued what they are doing with this concept. They've always had very unique concepts for each comeback, but when it re they were always hit and miss for me personally. But what really hit for me started was I think was it Wa, and then, did they have a song called Wa or am I tripping? Is that the name of it? It's like um. Girl, I feel like I might be tripping. The brain is not turning on to like the K-pop function. It's 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 going there, but you know what I mean. Um, or no, no. Oh my God. Yeah, no. They did have Wah. They did have I Burn. Yeah, and then they had. Oh, oh my God. I mean, each. Uh, yeah. I mean, they they've all had really unique concepts for each like comic, but that's when they really just started to just be like hit after hit after hit for me. And I mean going from like, oh my god, to Wa to was Tomboy next and then um it, nude and then just like they they really really are I think official I mean a fit they've been concept queens but there's just something so different about what they are doing like within the last two, three years ish. I don't know what year is it. When did Tomboy come out? I don't remember. Um, but like for sure, really, really killing the game. Really, really, I think just becoming, solidifying themselves as the top tier girl group. So I'm really excited to be checking out Allergy. Then after this, what's up? Queen card. And so I'm really excited. I like what they're doing with this concept. Um, and, and we're finally, I'm finally getting to experience it. So yes, you know what it, let go. Is this playing off of the teasers? Oh my god, a flip phone. A Blackberry. It's very 2000s teen movie look. Okay, Rock. The lyrics are great. I like that sort of paper transition. They first did in like Tomboy, and it was amazing. I really like how they're continuing that. I also want to dance hot boy. But Tomboy's great. <laughs> Saw the price it ran out. Mannequin challenge. Okay, Ariana Grande. Oh, that's really clever. So this is like a prequel to Queen Card. Okay. Okay, that's very... I really liked what they did with this one. I mean, we don't know the full story until we check out Queen Card. Um, but... Until I check out Queen Card. But I really loved it. I love the sound. It definitely is still bringing rock into 
their discography, which is really great because they absolutely killed it with Tomboy. Um, and I really liked what they did here because, like, it reminds me a lot of, like, 21's ugly it's like the only thing we can compare it to because i i don't know i mean they've had a, they have emotional songs and it's something more i feel like is maybe not so much like recently and stuff but like for sure it's something i guess that more noticed about them um so this is definitely one of them but sometimes especially being like a girl at social media and the internet and stuff it's always so easy to look at like other people and compare yourself to that um and like fall into that just like why am I not her why am I not pretty and not even necessarily through social media just like other people in life but I feel like it really amplifies that and that's definitely something um I experienced growing up because I grew up with the rise of social media I had a myspace nobody knows what that is and I'm so thankful um to have like a facebook twitter instagram tiktok to all these other things and how like toxic it can be um but just like also in a weird way just like seem like I want to dance the hype boy but I'm more like tomboy that's so interesting because I'm just like when I saw tomboy I felt seen you know what I mean so it's it's so interesting to like but I think there's something that feels so just like genuine and authentic about it and that's why it works with this song and this um concept for them and how it really works for like a concept of like a 2000s like teen movie because that's like a lot of the concepts that were just like sort of present in there you see like at least i saw myself not as like the popular girl or the mean girl but more like the outcast the weirdo you know what i mean like in 10 things i hate about you girl i feel julia styles you know what i mean um but yeah so it's it's very interesting but i think they really really got a cool concept down and it feels genuine it feels authentic and sometimes you know you see them all like lived up like that like sometimes they're saying these things and they're like the super pretty ones because you know sometimes it's even the super popular pretty girls feel that way too as well but you're never it doesn't ever seem like it but they also have those feelings too so I really like how they were seeing some of the parts of the songs and they weren't looking like a nerdy type of just like the girl who needs a makeover type of look with that like that you, that girls who still can look like a k-pop idol probably still have these feelings and I mean it's translated through like what the lyrics are saying in the song which is amazing I love it I love the sound um it just it kind of just straight up sounds like a western type of song not necessarily k-pop but it's it's kind of k-pop because it's kind of like the trans in k-pop right now but it, it just sounds like a regular just western type of song to me which I think works really well with the concept and with what Giotto is doing they're really popular these days they're gonna be at KCON um but yeah I think they really killed that I think they really nailed the concept I think the editing for the video was really really dope I think it was it was visually just like really really stunning like it still has a, a k-pop look to it not necessarily very cinematic but still executed in a very cinematic type of way and now I'm really really excited to be checking out Queen Card the hype is definitely there for me um because i want to know the continuation of the story when you always throw in a narrative it always i think is a very clever idea a very smart idea to have a narrative because then you really pull people in with the lore and the story and everything like that and now i am hooked they got me girl um but i really really loved what they did um with allergy and the music video i think i mean it's it's not so unexpected um but for sure i think it's it's really it's, 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 it, if, I don't know, there's just something about it that it's, I don't know, it just, it's like, I don't know, not like necessarily like perfect timing, but it feels like perfect timing for, not, okay, so when I say perfect timing, I meant like not perfect timing, like I need this song emotionally in my life right now, and it's a weird coincidence, but I feel like perfect timing for them in their career where they are right now to do something like this, so I really, really loved it. Go to your thoughts and comments down below to that about G Idol's allergy. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or description down below, or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I started a gaming channel. It's called Erica Just Games. I hope to see you over there. Currently playing The Last of Us Remastered. Share this with your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll tell you guys later. Bye.